Welcome to the course on Test Your C Programming Skills, a guide to crack IT interview. We are discussing fourth topic of this course that is user defined data types. In this session we are going to talk about self-referential and nested structures. In a self-referential structure, at least one structure member is a pointer to the structure of its own type. These structures are useful to create data structures like linked list, stacks, etc. This is the example of a self-referential structure, struct node and there are two members, data and struct node pointer next. Pictorial representation of this self-referential structure is as shown in the figure. In each node, there are two parts, data and there is another part which is a pointer to the next similar node. In nested structures, one structure is a member of other structure. There are two ways of implementation of nested structures. For example, struct date wherein there are three members that is a day, month and year. And there is a struct student wherein Roll number is one member and there is another member which is a variable of struct date. So here two different structures are declared independently and the first one is used in second one. Another way of implementation of nested structure is shown in the second figure wherein there is a structure student and in that structure there is a one member role, struct date is declared inside struct student and structure variable birthday is created in struct student. Let's move to the first example of this session. See the code carefully and guess the output. There is a structure demo declared on line number 3 which is having members that is a P, Q, R and one more member as a struct demo inner and in the main function a structure variable d is declared then the value of d dot p is made to 10 and then it is displaying the value of d dot p so the answer of this program is this program gives a compiler error let's understand why we are getting compiler error for this program in this program, there is a wrong declaration of a self-referential structure. On line number 8, it declares structure variable inner before completing definition of structure demo. So there is a compiler error and there is a need to use a structure pointer rather than creating a structure variable on line number 8. Let's move to the next example. See the code carefully and guess the output. In the program, there is a demo structure. Definition of demo structure starts from line number 3. In demo structure there is a member P and one more structure demo 1 and there is a D1 variable of demo 1 structure. In main function variable D of demo structure is declared and then the values for members P is initialized to 10 at line number 14. At line number 15, it says d dot d1 dot q is equal to 20.2 and finally it is displaying the values at line number 16. So the output of this program is 10 and 20.2. Let's understand why we are getting output like this. Note that here demo1 is an inner structure. It is declared inside the structure demo. And d1 is a variable of demo1, syntax used to access the content of d1 that is d dot d1 dot q is equal to 20.2 and this is a correct syntax to access the content of inner structures and that's why the output of this program is a 10 and 20.2. Let's move to the next example. See the code carefully and guess the output. This program is similar to the previous one. Only difference is there on the line number 8 wherein q is not a normal variable but it is a pointer 
plot pointer q and on line number 5 star in the bracket d dot d1 dot q is equal to 20.2 so the output of this program is this program gives the segmentation fault let's understand why we are getting a segmentation fault in this program note that q is a pointer to float data so pointer q is not pointing to any address in this program on line number 15 we are trying to directly store a value in a queue which causes the segmentation fault. Let's move to the next example. See the code carefully and guess the output. This program is similar to the previous one. There are two additional lines on 14 and 15 wherein we are declaring a float variable r and on line number 16 t.d1.q is pointing to r. So the output of this program is, this gives the output as a 10 and 50.5. Let's understand why we are getting output like this. On line number 16, pointer q is storing the address of variable r. So note the syntax that we are using to access the content of d1.q. Since q is a pointer, we are using star, star in the bracket, d is the outer structure variable d1 is the inner structure variable and q is the member. So star in the bracket d dot d1 dot q and that value is 50.5. So output of this program is 10 and 50.5. Let's move to the next example. See the code carefully and guess the output. Now here inner structure variable that is a d1 it is not a normal variable but it is a pointer. In the main function, the value of p is assigned to 10 on line number 14 and the value for q is assigned to 5.5 on line number 15 and then there is a printf which is displaying these values. So the correct answer of this program is, this program gives the segmentation fault. Let's understand why we are getting a segmentation fault. Here pointer d1 is not pointing to any address. So line number 15 causes the segmentation fault. This segmentation fault can be removed if d1 is initialized as shown below. So in the figure on line number 14 struct demo1 d1 is equal to 7.5. If we do this type of initialization then this program do not raise any segmentation fault. Let's move to the next example. See the code carefully and guess the output. There is a struct 1 which is having one member that is int a. Another struct 2 which is having one member that is int b. And there is a struct combined wherein it is having two members. The first member is struct 1 o and the second member is struct 2 t. In main function it is creating a variable of struct combine and then the values for a and b is assigned to 10 and 20 and then that values are displayed using printf. So the correct answer of this program is this program gives the output as a 10 and 20. Let's understand why we are getting the 10 and 20 as output of this program. Observe the syntax which is used on line number 15 and 16 which says c dot o dot a is equal to 10. c is structure variable of outer structure. o is structure variable of one of the member of combine and a is member of struct 1. So c dot o dot a is equal to 10. So the output of this program is a 10 and 20 because c.o.a is 10 whereas c.o.b is 20. Let's move to the next example. See the code carefully and guess the output. This program is similar to the previous one. Only difference is there on the line number 9 and 10 wherein o and t are not normal variables but they are the pointers. Line number 15 and 16 assigns the values to a and b using o and t which are the pointers and since they are the pointers 
it uses arrow operator and line number 17 it displays these values so output of this program is it gives again a segmentation fault let's understand why we are getting a segmentation fault here note that pointer o and t they are not pointing to any address so attempt to update content of these pointers causes a segmentation fault Let's move to the next example. This code is similar to the previous one with few additional instructions. In the main function on line number 13, it is making dynamic memory allocation and that allocated memory is assigned to pointer O1. And on line number 16, it is making dynamic memory allocation for struct 2 and that memory is assigned to T1 and then it is changing the value of t1 b is equal to 20 on line number 18 c dot o is pointing to o1 and on line number 19 c dot t is pointing to t1 so the correct answer of this program is this program gives output as a 10 and 20 let's understand why we are getting the output like this on line number 13, pointer O1 is made to point to dynamically allocated memory. Whereas on line number 16, pointer T1 is made to point to dynamically allocated memory. Hence, instruction on line number 14 and 17, which are assigning the values for A and B, they are executing correctly. And that's why the output of this program is 10 and 20. In the next part, we'll discuss about structures and pointers in more details. Till then, Enjoy C programming.